Hey guys, in this video, we're looking for a train robbery of $20,000 in gold coins. Now, we didn't find the $20,000 in gold coins from a train robbery, but what we did find was incredible. What we would have never found what we found without first the research and second, a metal detector to help us see into the ground and find what we found. Before I get into the video and show you what we found, I just want to tell you that on August 23rd and 24th, 2024, at the Aldemont City Park in Utah, man, we have a great event going on with all kinds of speakers that are experts in their field from treasure hunting, Bigfoot, UFO, the Utah Outlaws, Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid. And we're also having breakout sessions on with all kinds of things on prospecting, dowsing, things like that. But not only that, one of the top American metal detecting manufacturers, the Fisher Metal Detectors, is coming to the Moon Lake Gathering. I don't know if a major manufacturer has ever come to Utah before, but I know this, the Fisher Metal Detectors are. Not only that, though, they're bringing some of the top metal detectors with them so that they can help show you how to use your detector. Or if you're just thinking about getting into metal detecting, they can show you how they work, what type of a detector you'd like to have for what you plan on hunting for. They're also bringing a lot of swag to give away, and they've got some fun little games and things planned for you. But there are also going to be some drawings for some metal detectors. So this, just for that alone, is one event you don't want to miss besides everything else that's going on. This event is going to be epic. So we'll see you all on August 23rd, 24th, 2024 at the Altamont, Utah City Park. Now on to the video of what we found while we was looking for the $20,000 in gold coins from the train robbery, which we would have never found without a metal detector. Now I found an old cabin up here. This old cabin is in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's probably not here anymore. It was next to a spring, and there's, there's a spring. We uh, transposed it on to a new topographic map from the old original plot maps. So we have a GPS coordinates. We have phone, and AT&T, we have service here. We literally track, went right to the spring. So we're in here looking for the opportunity to find old coins. And guess what this turkey just found? So I'm going to kind of <laughs> scan the area we're at. We're in the middle of there's, nowhere. There's the spring that there's, was on the map. There's the spring right there. And here's the area we're at. We're in the middle of nowhere. There was an old cabin here at one time, and there's, you'd never, the rock. You'd the never rock know it except for here. These rocks, right. you know, that would have been part of it. So that's what you look for, things that aren't natural. Well, so, also, also, this can be an outlaw cabin and or a, a miner's cabin. There's, when we came in, we saw a lot of quartz, and in the quartz, there's a lot of copper. This area has a lot of copper. There's a copper smelter about uh, 10 miles that way, and there's an old mine on the map. Now, it's not listed as a mine, but we looked through the satellite, and it's not on any of the top of maps or on any of the old maps, but we saw the uh, audit, the, the tailings and stuff there. So this more than likely was an old miner's, miner's cabin. And uh, here we are. So the first thing I found in this area was this uh, top of an old can. Get over there and we'll, uh, point out for you, Grandpa. We'll... Uh, pick it up and take it out of here as trash but the second target we found is this hole right here hold on here and here's the second thing we found a half dollar seated liberty 1873 with arrows okay turn it over Cool. So I have found silver dollars before. That's a half. It's a seated half with 18, uh, 1873, 1873. With, with, with arrows, which is very rare. So I have found silver dollars before, but never out in the middle of nowhere like this. So, Jim, man, 
thank you for sharing your research hey, how you do this and <laughs> i can't get anybody to come up to the cabin with me and go treasure hunting <laughs> if you want to go treasure hunting give me a call <laughs> just like terry i'll take you to places you never ever thought of there's so much up here there's treasure old cabins and stuff and and you have man you've taken me on show me some cool old cabins dugouts everything that's yep. pretty awesome well, let's find some more. Let's find some more. Let's find some gold coins. Let's find some gold coins. All right. What is this? Has he been processing more right here? Okay, here's our finds for the day, but I want to thank Jim Farello for taking me and my grandson out on a great trip, man. We let us stay, he let us stay at his cabin. He fed us. He took us and seen us a ton of cool sights, you know, the old... Dugouts where the old um, ranchers and and outlaws used to stay, the old cabins. Um, Jim, thanks. Here's what we found at the at the uh, cabin that Jim located with his research, and you couldn't even tell there was even a cabin there. We thought Jim thought maybe this was a an outlaw cabin where the where they buried twenty thousand dollars in gold coins, but this turned out to be an old prospector's cabin, and you can see. We've got a little bit of silver ore right here, some copper ore right here, and then this is a piece of coke. Coke is made out of coal. It's uh, made so it'll burn hotter than coal. They use that to smelt their ores, and here you can see the slag from when they percolated to the top when they were smelting their metals. And it turns glassy, well they pour that off, and so then they pour their, whatever they're smelting, silver or copper, some kind of an iron ring, a modern bullet, and then we have a piece of lead out of a bullet, and these old forty-five, seventy, and other pistol caliber old uh, uh, bullet casing, and then of course the old, uh, found the old 1873 seated half dollar, and then these two, Jim found these two uh, tax tokens, Utah relief tokens. And you can see the one has a bullet hole right in it. And here's my story, and I'm sticking to this story. This guy's a terrible shot. He threw that thing up in the air, tried to hit the center, the star, and he missed it. Um, at least that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, Jim, thanks for a great time. 